Hey guys, it's Pam. I'm here to share a story with you. It's from the book of Acts. But do y'all remember where the book of Acts is located? You know, Jesus has been with us, with his disciples. So is that from the Old Testament or the New Testament? Do y'all remember? You're right, it's from the New Testament. So we're gonna hear our story today from the book of Acts, chapter two, verse one through 41. So the disciples were together waiting in a house in Jerusalem. Suddenly, a sound like a howling fierce wind filled the entire house. The disciples looked around to see what was happening. They saw little flames of fire on each of them. It was the Holy Spirit, God's Spirit, that would be with them always. The disciples began to speak other languages. They spoke about all the great things that God has done. I don't know if you can see, but look closely. You'll see our flames. Remember we did that in story hour one day about how the flames landed on us. People outside of the house heard the noises coming from inside the house. What's happening, the people wondered. Some people were confused. What does this all mean, they asked. Well, Peter spoke to the people. God has sent the Holy Spirit to us. That is what you have seen and what you have heard. The people listened to Peter as he told them about Jesus. Peter encouraged the people to believe in Jesus and to be baptized. The Holy Spirit will be with you, Peter told the people. Many of the people believed Peter's words. 3,000 people were baptized and became followers of Jesus that day. That's a lot of people. And you know, we need to remember to share Jesus with everyone so we can have some new people be baptized and be disciples for Jesus. So if you'll bow your heads, we'll end with a prayer. Dear Lord, make us fishers of men. Help us to find those who may not know about Jesus and let us share a word with them. Lord, be with my kiddos as they are having school at home and making crafts at home and just take care of them, take care of their families, take care of our church family. Jesus, remember, let us remember that you are with us always and let us be strong and loving and just to share your word when we can. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.